So my old spinal battery, while still having the ability to divert power when damaged, is not ultra efficient due to the dual automotive power diode that I have on there, which is performing the cell isolation. Now this prevents reverse flow from lower voltage cells or even a blade cutting through it and actually shorting out the controls above it. So you wanna isolate all the damage so your system continues running. Now all real diodes have a voltage drop, meaning that the more power you pull from them, the more power that they dissipate and they waste. So we need an ideal diode. Some Something that doesn't actually exist, but that's why I created this right here. It actually has two ideal diodes, one running on each side of this board that I designed. Now I just said they don't exist and then I say that they do exist, that's because what I'm doing is emulating the behavior of an ideal diode via complex circuitry. This way I get that near zero voltage drop while getting reverse flow protection that can trip in just a couple nanoseconds. This means I can isolate every cell in the suit, making it incredibly robust as it takes damage. I've been able to iterate the system with such speed thanks to PCBWay for their quick service and fast turnaround times. But now that my prototype is functional, I'm working on the mini chips that will go on every cell throughout the pack. But I'm also working on the high current impulse bank that'll be attached to this controller. And this can power things like EMPs or high current solenoids. Obviously I'm baking many other considerations into this build. So check out the YouTube video for the full analysis and description of how this works.